The Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center. Covering more than 1,100 square miles of the southern Mojave Desert, it is the crown jewel of the Marine Corps. The installation's mission is to provide a standard of excellence in managing facilities, services and support to the operating forces, and families in order to ensure the readiness of the tenant and resident commands aboard the combat center. MAGTAP TC's mission is to manage the Marine Air Ground Task Force training program and conduct service level Marine Air Ground Task Force combined arms training to enhance the combat readiness of the operating forces and support the Marine Corps responsibilities to national security. The combat center maintains 27 different range training areas and is known for its variety of courses of fire, including individual known distance ranges, large ordnance ranges, and combined arms target sets. Exercises aboard the combat center allow individuals and units to integrate together as a cohesive team through shared planning, briefing, rehearsals, execution, and debriefing. This interaction builds the inherent understanding that Marines need to possess in order to fight as a Marine Air Ground Task Force. Bilateral and specialty exercises are scheduled throughout the year. Among them is Steel Night, 1st Marine Division's largest combined arms training exercise, Javelin Thrust, an exercise focused on tactical skills for individual Marines and units, and the Large Scale Exercise, a yearly event that focuses on the integration of a MEB-level MAGTAF. Training operations like these take place throughout the year but the service level training event highlighted by the MAGTAP Training Command is the Integrated Training Exercise. The ITX is comprised of an intensive training cycle involving a series of progressive live fire exercises that assesses the ability and adaptability of a MAGTAF consisting of approximately 4,000 active duty or reserve fleet Marine Force personnel. Simply put, the Marine Corps developed the ITX to fine-tune the Marine Corps' effectiveness in winning battles. During the 29-day exercise, the Combat Center affords a MAGTAF the opportunity to refine skills from the platoon level all the way to the battalion or squadron level. These units will be challenged in their abilities to operate in urban terrain, as well as against a sizable near-peer conventional force, taking advantage of the Combat Center's realistic and challenging battle space. There are four major components of a MAGTAF, ground, air, logistics, and command, and each element plays a specific role in completing the mission. All occupational specialties in the Marine Corps directly or indirectly support the ground combat element. Serving as the Corps' main effort, the GCE is ultimately responsible for closing with and destroying the enemy composed of infantry battalions, artillery batteries, and armored vehicles. The GCE is prepared to handle everything from humanitarian or low-intensity conflict to full-on high-intensity combat operations against a near-peer enemy. On the ground, these units will learn how to face the complex challenges of today's battlefield. The MAGTAV training program utilizes professional role players as enemy insurgents during non-live fire exercises to create realistic scenarios that force Marines to defeat a thinking enemy. The aviation combat element provides rotary, fixed wing, and tilt rotor air support to support the MAGTAV. At the combat center, air wings from across the Marine Corps will train in assault support anti-air warfare, aerial reconnaissance, and perform tactical recovery of aircraft and personnel. The self-sufficient nature of the aviation combat element allows the Marine Corps to be a force in readiness. The logistics combat element provides combat service support for the MAGTAF. During training exercises, the LCE will be tasked to provide motor transport, supply, combat engineer support, equipment maintenance, and perform live fire vehicle recovery drills. 
After performing days and weeks of motorized operations during training exercises such as the ITX, the LCE is prepared to sustain a MAGTAF for missions of any duration. Over. Attention to CFC. Two, go. The command element plans and oversees the execution of every mission that takes place in a MAGTAF. The command element is responsible for command and control, manpower, intelligence, operations and training, as well as logistics functions. The MAGTAF relies heavily on the command element to strategize the most effective way to eliminate the enemy in battle, or, in humanitarian missions, to efficiently provide support to allies. MAGTAF Training Command also utilizes simulation training to prepare the command and control function of the MAGTAF staff. Live virtual and constructive training along with the Battle Simulation Center put commanders through scenarios they will face during future operational planning. These training resources transition to the current operations MAGTAFs would encounter in a real-world scenario. Right on the bridge between Old Town and Urban Corps. TTECG is the brains behind the constantly evolving training Marines receive at ITX. The group plans, coordinates, and controls live fire and non-live fire scenarios MAGTAFs and visiting units will face. It is a unique unit in the Marine Corps and is responsible for teaching and coaching the units being trained while providing a safety backstop. The Coyotes closely monitor performance throughout each training event to ensure that the abilities of the MAGTAF continue to improve throughout the 29 days of ITX. Following their specialized in-depth training exercises, Marines are prepared for their next deployment. The Combat Center has trained Marines to fight since 1952 and continues to adapt to the demands of modern warfare. With the training capability of the Combat Center, the Marine Corps remains the nation's force in readiness, able to accomplish any mission, in any clime or place.